What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at creating our own persistent bootable Linux USB pen drive or flash drive depending on what you want to call it. Now the difference between a persistent one and a live one is persistent means that any changes that you make in that operating system when you're booted to that USB flash drive will be saved. So for argument's sake if you're creating documents, images and stuff like that everything will be saved to that USB flash drive so it's best to try and use a, a big flash drive if you can if you've got if you tend on doing a lot of work for it also it's portable which means you'll have a basically a portable mini Linux uh, computer walking around with you in your pocket uh, as a USB flash drive now the live side of it is obviously if you make changes in a live environment everything will be lost every time you shut that live uh, instance down okay now we're going to be using peppermint Linux um, now Peppermint Linux is a free version that you can use and you can get it from peppermintos.com it's an awesome bit of kit and uh, it's free to download now this one uh, comes in 32 bit and 64 bit built for speed, lightweight, stable and long term support given uh, by Peppermint uh, 6 as you can see here check out their website for more details now this one was recommended me uh, from uh, Linux help guy Steve he's been doing a little series on Peppermint uh, so if you want to check that out uh, check out his YouTube channel I'll put the link in the description he's doing a whole series on Peppermint right now so you can check out his stuff he does all the Linux uh, sided stuff okay so let's get started anyway so first off let me just quickly show you uh, what we got here we have got this PC and we're going to go in here and you can see uh, the removable disk and it's a uh, 29.8 gigabytes in size which means it's a 32 gig USB 3.0 uh, flash drive now I've got my Linux peppermint uh, DVD in there and we're going to be booting up as you can see 664 megabytes in size so we're going to boot to our uh, Linux disk right now let me just close this off and reboot the system now you may need to change the boot order in your BIOS to boot to uh, the DVD okay so on this machine it's a uh, F2 and uh, we're going to be tapping the bottom cursor keys here the little arrows that moves it along to boot and you can see here we need to move the CD-ROM drive up so we're going to hold the shift key down and push the plus key and that will then go up to the top here now if you're using a UFEI BIOS um, you will need to make changes uh, to that BIOS as well now you can also change the uh, boot order by just uh, using a certain type of key whether it will be F12 or one of those keys you don't have to go into the BIOS if you don't want to and you can do it that way as well whatever floats your boat really so we're going to click on F10 here to save these changes you can always change it back after you've finished so now we're going to boot to our peppermint and we're going to see here try peppermint OS live that's what we want to go into push enter and let that load up it will take a bit of time to load up okay so once your uh, peppermint 6 is at the desktop what you want to do is we need to configure a USB flash drive to accept our install of peppermint 6 so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to click menu here and we're going to go ahead and click on system tools and G parted now once we've got this open you want to leave this well alone this is your Windows installation here as you can see NTFS do not touch that which is going to come up to the top right hand corner here and click on the USB flash drive here you can see I've got unallocated space here now yours may look different yours may have FAT32 or whatever it is that you've had your USB flash drive as so what we want to do here now is create some information for our uh, USB flash drive so what we're going to do is uh, you can either right click on here and go new or you can go partition new depending on what you want to do uh, which way you want to go about it so first off uh, we're going to set up the uh, swap so you can do Linux swap here and uh, what we want to do is move this slider down or you can type it out depending on whatever you want to do here so so you can do something like this and click add and that's going to add two gigs uh, to the uh, swap file you can reduce that if you wish uh, now unallocated space 
uh, we're just going to go to new and we're just going to leave this as ext4 and click add just like so now we've got some pending operations so we need to uh, go to edit and apply all operations and this will then give you a warning saying that the uh, thumb drive or pen drive or flash drive whatever you want to call it will be wiped and all the data will be lost so make sure you've got nothing on there that you want to keep click apply and this will then create what we need to be created that's now done and you can see they're all operations successfully completed we can close this off now and you should now see your uh, information that you've created here so we've got an ext4 uh, of 27.83 gigabytes and we've got our Linux swap of two gigabytes here and this is on a USB flash drive so we can close this off and now we can click on install peppermint 6 so what we want to do next is click continue and you can see we've got no internet connection here I am actually on a VM uh, machine here and I've not set that up and also on a live we're booting into this live CD onto a VM so that needs to be uh, fixed there but you should have no problems and you should have uh, internet access here and uh, you can install this third party software if you wish if you want to go ahead and do that and uh, what we're going to do is go next or continue now the next part you want to be uh, doing here is not erase the disk and install peppermint this will wipe everything so you want to go to something else down the bottom here click on continue and then you should see all your drives populate here in this window now from here th this is where we want to click on the actual ext4 and uh, once we click on that we want to then change some information so we're going to click on change and you can see do not use this partition so we're just going to quickly uh, change this to ext4 like so and also in the mount point here we're just going to put forward slash just like so click OK we're going to continue that and uh, once that's done we are now going to install on there now you do not want to mess around as I said with these up here these are your windows uh, partitions you will mess around with that at your own peril uh, so what we're going to do here is leave this as is and we're just going to click on install now And we're going to go continue and again you can uh, change your destination to uh, to what you want here you can see you can either click on the screen we're going to click on London here um, on this part here you can type it in also if you wish click continue and again you can choose your keyboard layout so we're going to click continue we want to put in a name here and this is your username and password so you can put in what you want here so we're just going to call this uh, and maybe we're going to put in Brightech there maybe I think and you can see we've got virtual machine here we can make this whatever we like so we can dash uh, USB if you want so we know and uh, put a password in like so and uh, we're not going to log in automatically we're just going to require the password to log in and that way if you lose your pen drive uh, they would need your password to log in there you can encrypt your files if you wish uh, but that will take considerable amount of more time so for quickness I'm going to leave this unticked push continue and that will start to copy the files across just let that go it will take some time so we'll come back when that's complete
So that's the uh, installation complete on the um, USB flash drive. So we can uh, continue testing or restart the system. And you can do it this way. So we're going to just close this down and then reboot to the flash drive to see whether it's working OK. So I've entered my UEFI BIOS and uh, I've got my Peppermint flash drive plugged in. I'm going to hit settings here and then boot. Then change the boot option one here. I'm going to make sure that this is set to my uh, Peppermint USB flash drive or whatever uh, Linux version you're using. But we're just going to be using uh, this one here. Select that. Hit the settings again. Now yours may be different. Hit save and exit. Save changes. Let's say yes to this. You can change this also uh, the way you like. Uh, save, save changes and reboot now. And this is going to now reboot to our pen drive. This will boot up. And then once you get to your login screen, just like so, you can enter in your password. It's pretty quick to load up. Now, uh, if you haven't got a password set up, it will get straight to the desktop. So I'm just going to quickly put in my password here and click on login. And once we get to the desktop, I'll just quickly test my network settings, which should be fine. I will open up a browser and I'll do a quick search for, say, BBC or something like that. See if the browser loads up with that site. And uh, sorry about the picture quality. It was a bit of a rush job, but as you can see, it's all working just fine we have internet access so that's basically how you can create your own persistent bootable linux usb pen drive my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys and you find them useful then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when i upload new videos also if you need help with your computers then you can also head over to my forums the information is on the screen right now so anyway have a great weekend guys and thanks for watching bye for now